It seems that wherever in the world we take you, we at the Fancy Banana manage to find a whole heap of hideous monsters with some fairly unsavory habits and a core aim of making you very dead indeed. And that's exactly what we have on the menu for you lucky people today. This time we're headed for South America and deep into the Amazon. Hope you brought some bug spray. From the tiny little fish that wants to get painfully intimate with your most sensitive area, to a shark that can and just might hunt you from the sea to the middle of the rainforest, here are the 20 deadliest monsters of the Amazon. Number 20. Yellow Anaconda Anacondas are massive snakes, literally the biggest on the planet. They can grow to a monstrous 550 pounds and 70 feet long. And to get this big, these serpents need to eat big prey. Amongst their favorite meals, they enjoy eating deer, wild pigs, caimans, and the occasional jaguar. And anacondas are constrictors. They're not venomous snakes, but they do coil themselves around their prey and squeeze until the creature asphyxiates and then they'll swallow the prey whole. The yellow anaconda is very close relative to the green anaconda, which holds the title of the world's largest snake, but these are not some tiny alternative. No, they grow to be around 10 feet long on average, but can get much, much bigger. Yellow anacondas live in and around rivers and swamps and will often attack from the depths, so their prey will frequently drown before it even has the chance to suffocate within the snake's grip. Their habit of hanging around in the wet stuff has earned them their moniker of water boa. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Amazonian Black Scorpion Well, this is a nasty little creature if you happen to get on the wrong side of it. And which is the wrong side, you may ask? Well, does it sting forwards or backwards? There's something to ponder for a moment. The Amazonian black scorpion is one of the largest species of scorpion, and they can grow to be up to four inches long. They're black when they're fully grown, but as juveniles, they have a brown body and a stinger. The black scorpion's a nocturnal beast and can be found lurking under logs and skulking beneath stones, popping out at night to hunt. And their preferred prey is arthropods and insects, especially beetles, grasshoppers, and termites. The thing that makes these creatures one of the deadliest of the Amazon is their super unpleasant sting. That sting is going to contain a venom which is made from a cocktail of neurotoxins and cardiotoxins that, if poked into a human, induces a range of delightful symptoms like severe pain, profuse sweating, swelling, nausea, vomiting, numbness, twitching, convulsions, something known as semicoma, hallucinations, tachycardia, drooling, and general collapse. Oh yeah, and sometimes death as well. What a fun one! Number 18. Vampire Fish one look at these fish and it's no surprise that they're called the vampire fish. There's no missing those big gnashers. These large freshwater fish have many aliases, which include pariah, dog tooth tetra, wolf fish, and of course, Dracula fish. Being a toothsome creature, the most prominent feature of this fish is its large fangs and spiky jagged teeth. Those fangs can measure anywhere around five to six inches long, so they're as fearsome as their name may imply. The fangs are incredibly strong though, ripping prey apart with one bite. They use their fangs to stab the victim and then hold them so they can eat it. Vampire fish are not only equipped with all the dangerous gear, but these monsters are also super aggressive as well. They hunt constantly and literally live to eat, insatiable like a vampire. With no known predators, the vampire fish is able to go about their business of incessantly hunting prey, drinking the blood of other fish and indulging in the occasional spot of cannibalism. So it's no wonder that many fish, including the scary old piranha no less, are really frightened of the vampire fish and will turn away and hide if they see one nearby. Number 17. Giant Otter 
Although the name may imply that this is some bloated sort of sci-fi version of the cute and furry otter, they are in fact only usually between three and a quarter feet long and four and a half feet long. So not exactly gigantic, but bigger than other species as well. They're also not especially heavy, generally weighing anywhere between 49 to 71 pounds, so they do look kind of long and sleek rather than enormous and intimidating. Which is a relief, really, because these creatures, for all their inherent cuteness, are carnivorous and completely ravenous. Giant otters spend most of their time hanging around in the water, snarfing down fish, and these animals are real hungry. They can put away between six to nine pounds of food per day. And although they do mostly eat fish, these rapacious diners won't turn down a dinner that includes small anacondas, caimans, crustaceans, and other sea dwellers. And with their extraordinary eyesight and whiskers that detect the movement of prey in the water, giant otters are extremely efficient hunters. They may look cute, but they're actually ruthless. Number 16. River Stingray the river stingray is an extremely ancient fish, believed to have changed very little over the course of the last several million years. But despite that fact, these fish are shrouded in a kind of mystery. Oddly enough, little is known about the creature, and no one's really certain just how many of them still exist. It seems strange to think that something that's been around for so long would elude our understanding, but they are so mysterious that we don't really know what their preferred habitat is, or if they ever travel to the ocean. And so this strange animal is a big one, that much we do know. The monsters can grow up to 16 and a half feet long and weigh as much as 1300 pounds. The stingrays have a super sharp barb on their tails that are able to easily penetrate flimsy human flesh, entering like an arrow. And this stinger can be 15 inches in length, used to poke a deadly cocktail of toxins into its victim. Ouch. While they're not necessarily a huge threat to humans, they do have a pretty dangerous ability to make humans dead if they feel threatened or even if they just happen to feel like it. So it's probably just best not to give the river stingray a funny look. Number 15. Jaguar. The muscular and powerful jaguar can grow up to be about six feet long and is only slightly smaller than the biggest of the big cats, you know, tigers and lions. As it stalks the land in Central America, some of its prey can be fairly hefty and dangerous itself. I mean, taking on a giant caiman? You know, these guys often do, and winning is kind of awesome. They have huge heads and extraordinarily powerful jaws, complete with a set of dangerously pointy teeth. The jaguar is very fast, having excellent climbing skills, and they also love to swim. They can be a stealthy hunter and will generally stalk silently before landing one decisive attacking blow. Oh, and they have one insane death-making move as well. Those powerful jaws. They can use them to bite into the skull of large prey, sinking their teeth into the victim's brain and making it, well, instantly dead. Number 14. Giant Leech. Try not to have nightmares about this one, but these are some of the biggest and most ugly bloodsuckers on the planet. The Amazonian leech is the same one that you'll likely have seen in a movie where somebody gets in the water in South America and then emerges with their back covered in black slugs. These freshwater leeches can grow up to a disconcertingly large 17.72 inches long and be a chubby 3.93 inches wide. The giant Amazonian leech can be found in the mouth of the Amazon River, all the way to Venezuela and the Guianas, where they'll mostly hang out in marshlands of coastal wetlands. They live underwater for the most part, on rocks and other debris, as they digest their tasty blood dinners. Between the 1890s and the 1970s, people believe that the species was extinct, but then they collected two adult specimens in French Guiana, from which a lot of icky baby leeches would be produced. In fact, one of them was named Grandma Moses, and she produced no fewer than 750 babies, providing so many years worth of valuable research material to the scientists at UC Berkeley that they mourned her passing when she eventually died, and they placed her remains in the National Worm Collection, the highest honor available to a parasitic worm, no doubt. Number 13. Assassin Bug. A 
Apart from the very distinctive appearance of the wheel bug, these little creatures are harboring a secret weapon, their other name, Assassin Bug, which might offer up a clue as to what these creepy crawlies do in their dark side. The wheel bug possesses a weird sort of crest that's shaped a bit like a wheel or a gear. I see what they did there with the name. The serrated disc gives the bug a menacing kind of Mad Max armored look, and this particular feature is utterly unique amongst insects in the United States States, so if you do see a wheel bug, it's easy to decipher what it is. These bugs reach to be about one and a half inches in length when they're fully matured, but if you see one, it's not best to pet it. These insects are biters, and nasty ones at that. The way the wheel bug captures and consumes its prey is fairly unpleasant as well. The creatures will use their beak-like mouth parts to inject a mix of enzymes that are going to kill and begin to digest the unfortunate prey from the inside out. If the wheel bug bites a human, it doesn't kill, but it does hurt a whole hell of a lot. According to those unlucky enough to have experienced a bite, the initial sensation is not so bad. Rather, it's a bit weird like an electric shock. But it's what follows that bite that makes a nip from one of these creatures so unpleasant. Within a minute, there will be a burning sensation that spreads throughout the area adjacent to the bite, and within five minutes, the pain is so bad that it's just going to stay like that for several hours. And after all that, it'll be followed by a throbbing ache for days on end. How lovely. Number 12. Red-bellied piranha fish. Piranhas have such a terrifying reputation that they're amongst the most feared predators of the Amazon rainforest, but although they are definitely not the best swimming companions, these fish generally aren't out there gnawing on humans all over the show. That's because they mostly eat fish and insects and crustaceans and even seeds and algae. They sound almost vegetarian. But don't get too comfortable. If they are hungry and food is scarce, the red-bellied piranha fish is more than happy to get together with a gang of other piranhas and make a whole lot of mayhem. Group attacks, although they're very rare, do happen, and they're absolutely not picky eaters when they're in that situation. They'll attack and kill literally anything that moves, and their reputation for stripping the flesh from a large animal or even a person in a matter of minutes is just well justified. That's what they have those razor-sharp pointy teeth for, after all. Although there are actually very few reported cases of piranha attacks on humans, they can and likely will have a go at humans during the dry season when food is hard to come by. So think twice before you go dipping your toe in that water. It may be quick, but it would be a painful way to go out now, wouldn't it? Number 11. Poison Dart Frog If you ever see a cute little poison dart frog, be sure not to pet it. Even if it does look like it might turn into a prince, you definitely don't want to kiss this amphibian. Even their skin contains deadly toxin that can literally make you totally dead. These miniature frogs may only measure about an inch long, but they do pack a lethal punch, enough poison to kill you ten times over, in fact. The golden poison dart frog lives in the rainforest of Colombia, where the indigenous Imbara people still use the frog's poison to tip their darts for hunting. as they have done for centuries. This is the very reason that these little creatures go by the name of poison dart frog, but you already knew that, I'm sure. Although the particular combination of toxins in their bodies is deadly, there are some scientists who believe that by isolating different parts of the compound, they can discover some important medical uses. They've actually developed a synthetic version of some of this frog's unique juice that can be used as a particularly potent painkiller, and it turns out that this is a pocket-sized but powerful frog-based pharmacy. Number 10. Electric Eel now, this has to be one of the coolest and weirdest fish out there. The electric eel can actually generate its own electricity. Ooh, and they're sinister looking too as well. They hide in the dark, gloomy waters using a weird electrical radar system to find their way around. These are no tiddlers either. The electric eel grows to be an average of six feet long, but they can actually get much larger. These creeps live in freshwater environments and are most famous for their bizarre and dangerous ability to produce high voltage that they can then use to stun their prey or even defend themselves from predators. Their electrical stun effect can take
take out prey of some considerable size, and although it's not enough to kill a human, the trouble is that it can knock you out and then you'll easily drown. But that electric charge is enough to sting, and repeated shocks could actually cause cardiac arrest. They're mostly found in the Amazon and Orinoco River areas in South America, and I should imagine also in a Bond villain's secret lair. Number 9. The Black Cayman the largest of all alligator species, the black caiman can reach lengths of up to 19 and a half feet, which apparently makes them the largest animal in the whole of the Amazon basin. On the surface, it looks a lot like the American alligator, with its darker skin, which helps to stay camouflaged while hunting at night. They're nocturnal predators, which I think makes these deadly monsters just a little bit scarier. The black caiman can be found in most of the Amazon basin, Bolivia, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, French Guiana, Guiana and Peru, where they mostly hang around in the shallow bodies of freshwater like streams and rivers, lakes, and the occasional wetland. During the wet season, between May and July, flooding throughout the Amazon region means that the caiman can be spread about in all kinds of areas, but when it's dry between September and December and the water recedes, the caiman are much more densely packed into rivers and lakes. Hunting at night, the black caiman has extra sharp vision, but weirdly, less sharp teeth. Teeth. Their toothy pegs are good at gripping their prey, but fall short of being effective at the actual killing part of hunting, so these deadly monsters are partial to drowning their dinner or just swallowing it whole. Number 8. Bullet Ant this is, officially, the insect with the world's most painful sting, so that sounds super fun. Their name apparently comes from the fact that a sting from one of these little blighters is akin to being shot by a bullet. And yes, you should probably run away from them, it's just the most sensible option. These ants live in tropical rainforests in a mainly and mercifully peaceful manner. They're not especially aggressive and will only sting when provoked. But if you do happen to upset one of these guys, then you can expect all of his friends to show up and start having a go as well. That's right. If you're unlucky enough to get stung by a single bullet ant, it will release a chemical that signals to all the other bullet ants nearby that they'll all pile on and sting the living daylights out of you. So if you do happen to be in the rainforest, be extra careful where you poke your fingers or toes, and be prepared for pain that's described in a colorful detail as blinding electric that repeats in waves of agony for up to 24 hours. Mmm, such fun. Number 7. The Arapaima Placed firmly in amongst the largest of freshwater fish in the world, the Arapaima is a native of the Amazon and Esquibo basins in South America. These gigantic fishes will frequently grow to be about 9 feet long and can get even larger than that. Their numbers have declined though in recent decades as the result of overfishing and modern problems of habitat loss. These fish have a distinctly pouty old fish face, a long body, and a massive tail. Though they do generally live in the river itself, being fish and all, during the wet season they are dispersed all over the place as the rivers overflow into the surrounding forest. This is usually an issue for most fish. The decaying vegetation makes oxygen levels in the water too low to sustain them, but the arapaima can breathe air. In fact, it has a swim bladder modification allowing it to act as a lung, meaning that this fish can even survive outside of water for as long as 24 hours. This fish may be the largest of the world's freshwater fish and can get to a hefty 440 pounds. They get to this size by eating a whole lot, and they have a weird way of doing it. When they open their big old mouths, they create a kind of vacuum that sucks in anything that happens to be nearby, and then they use their nasty pointy teeth to shred their victim. Number 6. Brazilian Wandering Spider the distinctly sinister-sounding Wandering Spider has the dubious privilege of being considered the world's most venomous spider by the Guinness Book of World Records. But just how bad could it really be? Well, as it turns out, it can be really, really bad. If you yourself are wandering the Brazilian forest, be careful where you step. These extraordinary arachnids don't build webs to catch their prey. They wander the forest floor during the night and hunt their prey that way. The 
This scary spider is a fan of both ambush hunting and the classic direct attack, and although they mainly hunt and eat other spiders and insects, these creatures are also known to munch on mice, reptiles, and amphibians. So they won't bite a human in order to eat it as such, but it will bite if threatened or surprised, and it's going to hurt. A bite from a Brazilian wandering spider will usually go like this. It begins with extreme burning pain where the victim was bitten, followed by sweating and goosebumps, and then the nasty stuff, which includes high or low blood pressure and fast or slow heartbeat. This will vary as the body tries to figure out how to handle the systemic attack. Then, a combination of sickness, stomach pains, vertigo, blurred vision, hypothermia, heavy sweating, and convulsions as the shock sets in. And of course, the severity of the reaction will depend on how much venom is actually in the bite, but you can't really tell that until it's too late. The good news though? If you're unlucky enough to be bitten by one of these spiders, you should seek immediate medical treatment, and that will probably fix you right up. The things they can do with antivenom and all that are really amazing these days. Number 5. The Mata Mata Turtle the Mata Mata turtles, a resident of South America, having an unusual looking sort of creature with an especially knobbly shell and large flat head, along with a wide mouth and a long snout. The Mata Mata shell is what makes the chap stand out from the crowd. It's large and gnarly, with big spherical cone-shaped knobbles poking out of it. The poor old turtle is no oil painting, that's for sure. Its neck is flat and wide and covered with warts and bumpy skin, and it has a triangular-shaped squashed head with a long snout that it uses like a snorkel. They have eyes on the insides of their weird heads, but they also have very poor vision, using instead their fleshy flaps on the sides of their heads to sense movements in water. They can feel vibrations that may warn them of a predator nearby, and they also have extremely sensitive hearing. Number 4. Amazonian Giant Centipede the catchily named Scolopendra gigantea centipede is mostly found in the tropical and subtropical forests of the northern regions of South America. This is officially the largest of all centipedes on the planet, so it should really get a crown or even a chufty badge, or at least some sort of certificate from our old friends with the clipboards at the Guinness Book of World Records. But these creatures are too busy just skulking around in all the leaf litter and rotten wood of the rainforest to be bothered about being in the record books, these massive centipedes are often over 12 inches long, and they use their spider size to hunt some pretty large prey. Amongst the giant centipedes' favorite dinners are other insects, especially spiders, scorpions, and millipedes, and they also enjoy small mammals like mice and bats, and even the old odd bird or frog. This gives you a clue just how big these things can get. And before you think they're only really preying on such miniature creatures, well, humans aren't entirely safe from these gigantic insects. They do have a venomous bite, which is a danger to people. And there's even been a death recorded as a result of a bite by one of these bugs. So that's all most reassuring then, isn't it? Number 3. Kandaroo you no doubt have heard of this one, even if you didn't know what it was called. A tiny catfish that lives in the Amazon River, the toothpick fish, or kendaroo, is most famous for being attracted to swimming into and setting up camp in a human being's urethra. There are always references to this little fish in movies about the Amazon, and we've heard them all before. Interestingly enough, there are not actually that many genuine accounts of the pea-loving fish that actually embody itself in an unfortunate appendage, but the mythology follows it around nonetheless. These teeny-weeny little fishes are actually amongst the few identified parasitic fish on the planet, and when they're not found dashing up a stream of urine, these fish usually prefer to make their home in the snow ugly warm gills of other fish, where they pitch up their camp by poking out a load of spines to hold them in place. This is the process that makes them particularly painful if they end up in a person's more sensitive areas, but the host fish has a nasty experience in store as well. The little toothpick is about to nibble a hole and literally suck out the blood of its victim. Mmm. 
Toothpicks make themselves sound skinny, but I guess it means really sharp and pointy as well. Side note, if you do ever find yourself in the tricky situation with one swimming up your willy, pulling it out can result in those barbs ripping through your urethra. And if it gets all the way in, well, it's just gonna suck out your blood. Just so you know, maybe you wanna stay completely away from the Amazon just in case. Number two, the bull shark. The aggressive and tenacious bull shark is in a rather exclusive group, along with great whites and tiger sharks, as the three species of shark that regularly attack people. These creatures are dangerous and deadly, and they also seem to be especially bad-tempered, which is a fairly risky combination of personality traits if you ask me. Growing up to 11 feet long and weighing as much as 500 pounds, these are some big, bad, bloodthirsty fish they're not exactly what you would call a fussy eater. Opportunistic predators, these bull sharks will eat basically anything that moves and are frequently found in the shallow waters where unsuspecting humans like to swim. When you add to the fact that they can also be found literally thousands of miles upstream in freshwater rivers, they're amongst the most deadly of all the monsters that can be found in the Amazon. If you aren't already nervous of being drowned by a caiman or stripped to the bone by a gang of piranhas, now you have have to add ruddy sharks to the list of stuff that's trying to kill you. So although they're not exclusively freshwater dwellers, the bull shark's often found mooching about in rivers and seems to be able to switch up its location with ease. That also means that you'll never know where they might be hiding out, waiting to munch on your tasty old limbs. Number 1. South American Rattlesnake and here we are with our final offering of deadly monsters. Don't say I've never given you anything. Here, for your eyeballs, is the super dangerous and highly venomous pit viper, the South American rattlesnake. These solitary but deadly animals can be found all over South America where they hang out in forests and semi-arid areas, becoming especially active at dusk and then again in the morning. They pose a special threat to you if you do happen to be a rodent or even a lizard, so be careful where you let your pet guinea pig roam. It doesn't bear thinking about my poor twinkle. If you are a human, they're not prone to being especially aggressive towards you, but a bite from one of these reptiles is going to properly ruin your day nonetheless. The venom of the South American rattlesnake contains some fun neurotoxins that cause gradual paralysis and then impaired vision and ultimately complete blindness. And if that's not fun enough for you, you can also have auditory disorders, breathing difficulties on account of the paralysis, muscle damage, hypertension, and shock. But the main cause of death in humans is renal failure. Oh, and if you don't receive rapid medical treatment, their kill rate's about 72%. Ah, never tell me the odds. So it seems that the Amazon is basically stuffed to the brim with rampaging furious monsters all seemingly hell-bent on either killing you dead or swimming up inside your delicate areas, causing a good deal of mischief. What did you make of all this dangerous mayhem? Are you adding the Amazon to your must-visit list? Are you completely bananas? Let me know all your thoughts about these crazy creatures in the comments below. And be careful where you poke your privates and never know where a renegade kangaroo might be lurking. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.